Hello and welcome to The Update, I'm Georgia Hawkins. The federal government's climate policy has passed its first hurdle, 89 votes to 59 in the lower house. Labor is planning to slash CO2 emissions by 43% this decade. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says the parliament worked the way it should have. Even though uh, the crossbenchers didn't uh, get their demands met that weren't consistent with the program that we put to the election, that it passed the parliament, that the parliament functioned effectively to support the mandate that we received at the election. The federal government has ramped up its response to monkeypox, securing almost half a million doses of a vaccine. 55 cases of the potentially deadly virus have been recorded in Australia so far, but numbers are growing overseas. There's been an horrific shooting in North Queensland. Three people found dead at a remote cattle property. One man is fighting for life after being shot in the stomach. Police still searching for the gunman. It's believed the victims are all from the same family. Westpac is the third of the big four banks to announce it will be passing on the Reserve Bank's interest rate rise. Along with Combank and ANZ, it plans to extend the half a percent increase to its home loan and savings customers. And the Rolling Stones could be heading down under next year. The legendary rockers are apparently keen to extend their 60th anniversary tour and Australia and New Zealand could be on the list. In sport, Des Hasler says the club has moved on from the Pride jersey saga and he hopes fans can as well. The Manly coach says he's proud of the way the players have spoken together about their different beliefs and values. Where the hub of it where, where it really is, it's good. Yeah, it really is. Um, it's the old expression that you can't control the noise um, outside so uh, players resolve to uh, just to get on with it. Round 21 of the NRL kicks off tonight with the Roosters hosting the Broncos at the SCG. Former rugby league hardman Paul Gallen's boxing career will end with a bang. The former Blues captain announcing he intends to fight twice in one night. And there's another twist in the golf war. 11 players are suing the PGA Tour over its decision to suspend them for joining the new live golf circuit. In entertainment news, Hollywood stars Michael Keaton and Brendan Fraser have been left in embarrassed and fuming after finding out via the media that their new movie wasn't going to be released. Warner Brothers apparently hadn't told cast or crew when the New York Post ran the story that the $100 million Batgirl project had been shelved. Chrissy Teigen is pregnant with her third child, the supermodel wife to John Legend expecting after losing their son Jack two years ago. And from the boxing ring to the silver screen, Conor McGregor will will make his acting debut in a remake of the Patrick Swayze movie Roadhouse. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow.